please enjoy our feature presentation. The Little Green Dress presents Traditions and Legacies. Today's guest, Casey Amos. A little bit. Can you hear me? I'm very good. Just enjoying <laughs> and just enjoying the Memorial Day. Good, good, good. Happy Memorial Day. So I'm here in California, yes? Yeah, I'm out here in Southern California. This is where I grew up. Okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, just an easygoing, creative guy. Graduated film school from California Institute of the Arts back in, in 95 and started right away in music videos and you know, kind of climb, climb my way up the ladder in music videos and worked, worked with some some pretty popular names as far as like, uh, I say, Big Pun, Fat Joe, and did a lot of the Mac-10 videos and, and the Dog Pound and uh, had had some nice, you know, like like Snoop Dogg appeared in a, in a video and Mac-10 and, uh, and, you know, a lot of the hip hop guys and also a couple couple of the country and rock artists. So, and then, then from there, wow. then from there, it kind of grew into music documentaries with like Macy Gray, and and then from there, I started doing feature films and did a uh, did a couple feature films. One called The Watermelon Heist with a bunch of comedians from LA, and, and more recently, Mercy for Angels with Emilio Rivera. It's like a drama I did a couple years ago, and just just doing the independent film thing out here in LA. Okay, now tell me about Watermelon Heights because that's how that's where I know you from. Um, because it was really fun. I don't know. I think it's a true story that your grandfather told you. Oh, exactly. Yeah, my grandfather. He's 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 known for telling stories, and one day he was just telling me this story about how he used to deliver watermelons, and 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 they they these people in the neighborhood had had raided his watermelon truck at night, you know. So yeah. He had to get his trusty his trusty shotgun and, and confront them the, the shotgun that he calls O'Malley, and confront them to to give get paid back for his his watermelon. So I said, Grandpa, this sounds like a movie. So, you know, he he elaborated on it a little bit, and and I turned it into a script and turned it into a feature film. And then my my father actually ended up John Amos. He ended up playing my grandfather in the movie. That is. Awesome. Definitely, yeah. That's. I guess that you were saying you, you you were wondering what traditions we had. I guess that would be one of our one of our key traditions is, is storytelling and uh, you know just keep you know it's like in in Africa they used to have the griots that would pass things down through the oral tradition. So we we kind of keep that keep the spirit of the griot alive in, in our family. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? What do you do? Well, you basically, you basically tell stories, you, you know, through, you know, instead of instead of like history books and everything, th through the oral tradition, you just tell stories, and every time the story's told like a, a little bit different with a little bit more of a, you know, unique perspective, or you you might put a little yeast in it a little bit, you know, to get to get reactions, but either way, the, the story's passed down to the younger generation over generations and generations, and then, you know, that's that's how the history is kept alive. Wow, that is so great, that is awesome. So what are you guys working on now? Oh, right now I've been developing a, a feature film with, with a team from Scotland, and, uh, you know, we, we plan to go, go into action as soon as, as soon as the pandemic's clear and it's safe to do so, you know, we, we gotta, a couple projects that we've been developing and staying busy. We use Zoom and and do these conference calls, and we're able to actually. With you know, we're just trying to take a negative and turn it to a positive. With the with the world being shut down, you know, ironically, everybody has a little bit more time to to listen to to hear hear you out on on your creative goals. So, you know, we've been using this time to communicate with actors and get them get them to get attached to the projects and. Uh, you know, basically try to try to use this time and and make the best out of it as we can. Yes, I understand. I'm trying to do the same thing with the movie. I think everybody's trying to do it. You know, um, Instagram just going live and talking to people. But I think it's a wonderful thing. I think it's, it's more personable. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. People people have more time to. 
to hear you out and tune into things like like this this like what you're doing right here is that from what I'm hearing those are going to be the the first type of uh, projects and and media content that are going to be you know feasible in in this in this post COVID climate you know is what we're doing right here is going to be some of the most successful stuff coming out of the gate so uh, you know I admire what you're doing it's, it's definitely inspiring no I'm, I'm still i'm still single so i still all have all that to look forward to i gotta i gotta i gotta catch up with some of my some of my peers have already made the step you know so i'm you know i'm a late bloomer but i'm i'm ready you know it's something i'm looking forward to All through my life, people have come up to me and said, that's your dad. You know, he, he was actually my father growing up, too. So, you know, I've had people come up and, and embrace me and, and hug me like, like, like they're, they're my brother or sister and, and say, your, your pops, you know, was, was a huge admiration to, to my entire family. And that, that goes for people from all cultures. I've, you know, of course, you know, b black families, but I've, I've had, I've had brothers come up to me that look like, with the beards, look like ZZ Top come up to me. And, you know, in the wow. South, it's like, he, he, your pop was my pop, too. So, it, you know, it, it breaks all cultures, you know. It's, it's not just in the urban community. It's, it's all through America. And even, uh -huh. even out, you know, even in Europe. And when I've, when I've went, been out to the Cannes Film Festival, he, he has just as much love out there as, as anywhere else. Mm -hmm. What else, wow, what else is, could I, is it? That is a, truly amazing. Like when I was like a long time ago or became your friend, I became your friend because I liked that movie. I and I thought it was funny. And it wasn't until recently that I, I found out who you were. Like, I didn't know you were and stuff. But I really did. And I just thought, wow, that is, I just I couldn't believe it. So when I started this series, that's about why I, I wanted to reach out to you. So I thought it was just no, any any time we we have to do it do it often. You know, as, as you know, as I'm working or you know I'm on set or whatever, we we can go live and and keep this thing growing and let it grow. That would be awesome. That would be so great. I would love that. I would love that. So let me ask you, like today. What would your legacy be? What legacy would you leave? Oh, what, what was the question again? You were broken up a little bit. I know. If you're, if you were to leave the earth today, mm -hmm. what would your legacy be? What would you leave? Oh, uh, just that I kept kept the oral tradition alive. The 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 the, the tradition of the griot, the, the the original storytellers, and that. You know, I, I passed down real stories from my family and brought them to life. And, you know, that I was out there, you know, giving people a chance to look at the world in a different way through a unique perspective. That is so awesome. That is great. So um, tell everyone uh, where they can find you and what projects you have to do. Uh, easiest way is just on right here on social media on 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 Facebook is uh, Casey Amos, right here on Facebook. I'm I'm very accessible and the, the same same handle on Instagram is K dot C dot Amos. You know my initials K C, which stands for Kelly Christopher. You you just jog those in anywhere on Google on Casey Amos, and and you're you're bound to find find some of my work. During the coronavirus, I've been working on this little project called Vinny the Virus. He, this is this is this little fellow right here. He comes around, and you 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 can check him out on Facebook and Instagram. He's this little character that that, that pops out and scares people everywhere. 
And then, and then wow. Captain, Captain, Captain Rona comes to the rescue with this with the spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's so I, you know, I'm always. Right around Facebook. I'm gonna reach out to. Yeah, I'm gonna reach out to you again. We'll talk again. Okay, it sounds good. I, I definitely enjoyed your show. Thank you so much. All right. You too. Happy Memorial, everybody. Happy Memorial. Bye-bye.